Sports with KATC Sports Director Andrew Clay. Oh, we are in Baton Rouge for the NCAA Softball Tournament, the Baton Rouge Regional Championship. And at this moment right now, Louisiana Raging Cajuns taking on LSU in a winner-takes-all affair. Now, the winner of this game will take on Florida State next week in the Super Regional. If that's the Cajuns, they will have to travel to Tallahassee if LSU. That game will be back here in Baton Rouge. But let's take a look at how this first game happened, how the Cajuns forced a second championship matchup. Louisiana got its chance early, third inning. Runners on the corner, Keelan Alderin ground to short. Sophie Piscos buys a one-way ticket home, but she's out at the plate. Louisiana missing on that early opportunity, but only for a moment. The next batter is Jade Guitarez. She finds space in the gap. Aliyah Andrews can't make the catch, a rare ball that she cannot field. Louisiana would score two and take a two to nothing lead. The Tigers wouldn't get their best chance until the sixth inning, two on. Everyone in the park thinks Georgia Clark just hit a three-run shot, but it dies on the warning track, just a long out. That really spoiled LSU's only chance at runs in this first game. Kendra Lamb in the circle was strong. The strikeout ends the game as Louisiana wins 2-0. That, of course, bringing us here to this winner-take-all championship game. The Cajuns jumped out on front early, but LSU responded Well, full coverage of this game coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Yesterday, Louisiana baseball used a pair of small ball runs to top Troy 2-1 to one and win the Sun Belt West, the first divisional title since 2018. Now this year, they will travel to Montgomery, Alabama. That made yesterday's win the final for the Cajun seniors at Russo Park, marking the end of an era for these players, Drake Osborne, Austin Bradford, Jack Burke, and Brennan Bro. Bro, a Cadian native, played at LSU before coming home. You know, everything was the last one here. Uh, you know, everything is the last drive to the park, last walk up into the park, last bat and practice you take, last at bats you have at the at the Teague. And, um, man, it's such a blessing. Um, you know, it hadn't really, really hit me yet. Um, we still got some work to do. But uh, it's such a blessing all the way around to be here as long as I have been. Coming to a brand new clubhouse, you know, brand new coaching staff, a brand new set of guys. Um, and, you know, we all set out to on one mission and, we all have a common goal together and you get to bond with those guys and, and make memories and friendships that'll last a lifetime. It's on the Hoover for LSU baseball, who's a nine seed this week in the SEC baseball tournament. It's the team's lowest seed since missing it back in 2011. Now, yesterday's 8-2 win over Texas A&M made it three straight conference series wins to end the year for the Tigers. That strong finish giving Paul Maneri hope that an NCAA tournament bid remains within reach. You know, we, listen, we won four road series in the SEC. We've had some great teams in the past at LSU that didn't win four road series in, in one season. So, you know, we've, we've done some good things. Um, been nice if we didn't get swept twice, even if we just finished one, one game in those two series and finished 15 and 15. But, you know, so, you know sometimes it happens that way. Again, we are here in Baton Rouge for the NCAA softball tournament, LSU. And Louisiana Raging Cajuns currently locked in a winner-takes-all battle. Full coverage tonight at 10 o'clock. That's Look at Sports. I'm Andrew Clay. We'll be right back. The time we have left, thanks for watching and have a good, we hope you join us again tonight at 10.